Hi everybody, so I wanted to do a really quick video for you guys today um, and really just kind of like an update, maybe giving you guys a little sneak peek at some of the new things that I have going on. Um, I recently moved back home for the summer. I have um, finished the semester, so I'm back home in my old room and things are just been kind of hectic lately. So I decided that instead of jumping into like tutorials and reviews, I do have a few reviews that I want to do like the Alice in Wonderland or Alice Through the Looking Glass palette by Urban Decay. I wanted to do a review on that because I recently got that. Um, I also got a few of the NYX Ombre blushes, so I wanted to review those as well. Um, but those are going to be coming in later videos. For now, I'm just going to give you guys an update on my body mods. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I recently did a tattoo piercing update video, and I figured since I did mention that I was getting a tattoo on my feet, um, that I would just give you guys a quick update on how that turned out. I actually, since that video, have, I believe, one, two, three more tattoos since that video, and it actually has not been long since I filmed that video. I think I filmed that video maybe in like January. I don't even remember when I filmed that, um, but I actually filmed that um, and posted it the day that I filmed it, so it really hasn't been that long, but I have a, like accumulated three other tattoos. In addition, I do have I don't think I have many more piercings, if any. I do think I only have one more. Um, if anything, I might have the two here. I don't know if I had those when I did that, but I'll just mention those quickly. Um, so one thing is the tattoo on my back of my ear. So I'll just mention that one first. That one is a really small little heart with like a clef note on the side of it. They're kind of attached to each other. Um, I will insert a picture somewhere in here when I'm talking about it. Pain on that one was like nothing. It was literally a zero. I didn't feel it. It went by in like 20 minutes as far as like start to finish them actually prepping and setting up and putting the stencil and actually tattooing. Literally it was like 20 minutes and it was the easiest tattoo by far. Healing on that was ridiculously easy. Um, I just use, if you want to know, um, I just use Aquaphor for the first like three-ish days and then I just use my face lotion which is the Curel um, daily moisturizing lotion. It's unscented. It's really good for sensitive skin. So I use this after the first three days of using the Aquaphor. Um, and then I just use liquid dial antibacterial soap to clean them. Um, so that is what I have and it's on the back of my ear like I said. Um, it's really small. I honestly just wanted something that was going to be on the back of my ear. I didn't know what I wanted. It's hard to really place anything behind there because it's such a small area. Um, so yeah, I decided to do that there. I also decided to do it on this side just because I do have the shaved side of my head here. So I figured it would show a little bit more if I got it on this side. So that's why that's there. Um, it has no meaning. I really just wanted something behind my ear. So there's no meaning or anything intricate behind it. Um, Today, I actually got this, and it might look a little gross right now. I don't know how it's looking, um, but it's just an orbital piercing. Now, I had the top of the orbital already done, and I just wanted her to add it in. The reason for that is because of my snug on this side. Um, the conch with that piercing kind of made like a faux snug kind of look, and I didn't want it to look like that. I wanted them to look different. I didn't want it to look like I just had two snugs on each ear. Um, so what I did was I asked if she could add one, um, I guess, piercing to the bottom of it and then just kind of connect them together with a hoop. So that's what I did. I just got that today a few hours ago, so I have no idea how healing for that is going to be. Pain-wise for that was like maybe a 2 out of 10. It really wasn't bad at all. Um, the only issue was like getting the captive bead ring hoop to really close together and hold tightly. Um, but other than that, like the pain was ridiculously easy. Um, the other tattoo that I'm really really excited about to tell you guys because I oops sorry my phone I was really excited about this because I did mention this um, back when I did my update on my tattoos and piercings I was 
actually waiting for this appointment I think for like four months like it was the longest wait I've ever had to do from like knowing that I was actually gonna get a tattoo to actually sitting down in the chair and getting the tattoo um, like the back of my neck was a walk-in the other one that I'm gonna show you is a walk-in um, the one on my ankle was a walk-in so this was actually the longest wait I've ever had to have for a tattoo so I was super excited to get this one done um, so what they are and I'll insert a picture is there two realism butterflies on my feet one is in black and gray one is in color now the color is a little bit dark and I purposely did that just because although I wanted it to be bright and fun and colorful I decided to do dark colors because dark colors over time heal a lot nicer and they look a lot nicer longer so I just decided to do a darker colors but still colors and something that would be fun and different um, so I got those done on my feet I did a six hour appointment which actually ended up being like closer to five hours so I was a little lucky on that um, and I did them both in the same day so it was definitely a process it was not fun let me tell you healing they are still healing I got them done exactly a week ago um, and as far as healing goes I really had no issues my left foot was swollen for the first like three days um, and it was kind of like it wasn't painful but there was a lot of pressure when I was walking um, but I pretty much stayed at home and elevated my feet and drank a lot of fluids and as far as right now um, it's pretty much healing it's a little bit itchy right now it's not peeling um, it's a little bit rough so there are like scabs I guess you could say um, but it's not peeling in that sense so I'm lucky as far as that goes um, but as far as right now it's just really really oh I am so sorry let me turn this off um, it's just really really itchy um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just washing it constantly and putting lotion on it so that it just kind of keeps it moisturized so the itchiness kind of is subdued a little bit. Um, so that's all I'm doing for that right now. Healing on that is going great so I'm really excited on how they're going to look when they're finally fully healed. Um, and then the last one that I have that's different from my update was that I have one now on the back of my leg. I will insert a picture here. So what it is is that it's a I guess rib cage heart design and then the quote on top of the heart actually says it's a lonely thing protecting a breakable heart um, I wanted to get this just because I saw that quote and I loved it and I really I guess um, connected with the quote um, and I wanted something that was gonna go along with the quote just because I have a lot of just like straight quotes like the one on my arm I have a word on my ankle I didn't want anything that was a straight quote anymore I wanted there to be a little bit more to it um so I was looking around and I was going through different things like I was looking at pictures of hearts in cages and things like that but I felt like for the message that I wanted to send and for the type of feel that I wanted I really fell in love with the heart shaped rib cage design um so I got that done today it was a walk-in it took probably about one and a half hours total um, and honestly it was not bad at all I was very nervous because although I got my feet done both in the same day and I you know definitely knew I could handle it I heard a lot of people say that when you're close to like your Achilles tendon um, in the back of your leg that it is kind of painful to get tattooed so I was really worried about that but honestly it was not bad. There were certain parts of it that I didn't feel at all. Um, there were certain parts that did hurt a little bit. Surprisingly it was the parts that were furthest from my ankle that actually hurt the most um, but honestly I really love it. I could not have asked for a better tattoo. I was really surprised. I sat waiting because my shop that's near my house and I will put um information somewhere here if I can remember um, but the shop that's near my house that I personally go to um, they are so popular they're such amazing people they do amazing work I've been going there for six years um, their piercer has done pretty much all of my work that I have done she's done all of them she's amazing they're very nice um, so I went there and because they're so busy I actually waited for eight hours in the shop just sitting there waiting to be called so that I could get this tattoo and although it was kind of a stressful day because I was 
running around trying to get there early. I wanted to make sure that I was able to get fit in and then it was stressful because there were so many people there today. Um, it definitely was well worth it. I'm super happy with how it came out. I definitely will do updates in the future letting you guys know how my feet and the back of my leg heal um, just because they are still very new so healing for that is still in progression. I will also give you guys updates on my new piercing as well on how that heals and if you're interested in getting an orbital style piercing um, they definitely definitely are different than most sorry i have a hair they definitely are different than most piercings just because you're connecting two together in a circular fashion so it's not like an industrial the pressure that can be put onto these piercing is like really crazy so you want to watch it you want to make sure that you take care of it really well um because they can be problematic and there are a lot of things that can go wrong. So I'm really, really happy with everything that I got recently. Um, and I definitely can't wait to get more. I do have plans in August to set up an appointment um, to get something else. I will let you guys know what that is in future videos. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. I hope it wasn't too long and I didn't ramble too much. Um, one thing, my hair doesn't look, I guess, amazing right now. But if you wanted to know how I got this, I just braided my hair um, down the sides, let it dry. Um, I braided it while it was wet and then I just let it air dry and then I pulled them out and this is what I get. It just kind of gives me the waves that my hair normally has without as much frizz. I mean, it does still have a little bit of frizz, but it's definitely not as bad as it is if I just leave it to air dry without tying it down first to give it more shape. Um, but yeah, so if you were curious as to what this is, this is just after a braid and pulling it out. And I can do a tutorial on how I braid my hair and how I get this type of look if you were interested. Um, it's definitely really easy, low maintenance, and it definitely is kind of like a summer feel. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed Enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you want to mention to me, all of my information for all of my social media is below. You can also leave comments in the comment section. I will try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Um, yeah, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't. It really means a lot. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, everybody.